guess you're wondering how this all came about. When the tsunami hit, uh, we were concerned, like many Samoan families here in New Zealand, about the family members that are back in Samoa. They're in little villages and they have been absolutely devastated. And yet people here in Walkworth, a little community, have reached beyond that and extended a helping hand by giving so generously. Um, and so when we heard, we immediately, Mark and other members of the Mahurangi Presbyterian Church felt that we could send a container to Putasi where I have relatives, cousin and her husband and their families, as well as a cousin Polo and many other family members were in Putasi, um, um, Sate Toa and Lepa and as well as others that are just coming to light. So that is where the container will be going from Walkworth. The two containers will be going to help the people in these villages who have not had aid arrive because they've all gone bush. They've left the, uh, the beach areas and have moved out into the bush. And aid has not been that, it's been slow in getting there. generosity of the people from here and shows how closely we have ties with Samoa. Most of us have either visited there or we've got friends there, family there and this is the way that we can help in just a little way from the people from Walkworth to the people of Samoa. Special greeting to you everybody up there in, in Samoa, from us in Maharangi. I'm Mark, you know I'm Martha's husband, and uh, we praise the Lord for the opportunity to work with you and to serve you, and we look forward to meeting some of you quite soon. And I want to introduce you to somebody who's been very special, who has done a huge, huge amount of work here, more than me. Valda, come over here for a minute. Well, is the person who's done all the coordinating here in the warehouse, our little warehouse that we're forming. And she's a very special lady and she just wants to say something to you. Hello, first of all, I'd like to say how sad we are to hear of, of what's happened over there. Our hearts just go out to you. And uh, besides praying for you, all we can think of doing is putting stuff together. We can't be there to hold your hand. We can't be there to, to work on site with you, but we can send you our love and we can send you the things that our community has collected for you. wonderful community of Walkworth, they are about an hour's drive north of Auckland City and we're just so, so feeling it for everybody in Samoa at the moment. Uh, it is a sad time for you and it's a sad time for us, but as a community we've come together to send uh, what we can and to send our blessings and prayers to you. So God bless you all and uh, may what we send to you be of great use to you. Bless you. I believe that the community here is really reaching out to a little island that is in desperate need of help because they are neighbours. I just am so amazed at the way that they gave so generously 
because Samoa was in need. That when the tsunami hit, it didn't matter who the people were, they knew that they needed help. And I just think Walkworth, thank you. A lot of thanks goes out to every business who's donated as well as the individuals who have given generously when you haven't known the people. You saw a need and you rose to the occasion and gave. And that's just tremendous. It's not until you see the devastation, just exactly what would have taken place having a tsunami right on your heels that many didn't make it. Many families lost um, members of their family, children, uh, parents, grand grandparents. There were so many lives that were lost. But the not only physically what they lost, but the psychological effect and impact that it would have on these family members in the years to come. So I'm flying out to meet the container and together be able to get some shots with my cousin who is going to be the one doing the distribution but I will be able to get photographs to bring back to our community to show them the village and it just won't be one or two or three villages wherever there is a need and if, we're, if, if it's been met by other people we will then give it out ensure that everything that's been sent from Walkworth will be able to get out to those that are really needy. So I'm looking forward to being able to bring those photos back and to, but once again, thank you Walkworth for everything. And to people from Hibiscus Coast um, who also gave and others from Auckland, our friends who've given money um, from an organization in Auckland that's enabling me to get over there. Thank you so much.